uh, how many Yid do you have identified Jewish in, uh, in Arizona? It's probably uh, two some maybe identify as Jewish, probably three, four thousand. Three, four thousand in Tucson. Yeah, in Tucson, three, four thousand, but there's twenty five thousand. Other communities in 20, Arizona? There's twenty five thousand Jews, they, they claim, in the area, larger. Identify Jews? No, 20, 20, 20, about twenty five thousand Jews, they say, in the extended area around Arizona, around Tucson. And, uh, 4, only uh, and this is the only right. Orthodox congregation in Tucson? We have Alir and Chabad. Chabad also there? Arizona. I was once for Chabad in the of Lazarov in Texas, in Houston. Mm -hmm. right. Not very far from here. Mm -hmm. Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. I was there. And I have an invitation now from Dallas. Texas. That was I forgot the months that I expected to be there. <laughs> this coming first Thursday, I'm going to speak in Brooklyn, New York. It's a commemoration of the Shoah. Maybe you and Fischoff, if you have heard Benny Fischoff. Dove Heikin. Dove Heikin is a member of the City Hall of New York, one of the members of the Council of New York. They arranged for the Orthodox Jewry in Brooklyn, Oropa, Flatbush, and the others, a commemoration for Shoah, because last Friday was the day of defeat of the Nazis. Mm. The end of World War II right. was on May the 9th, 69 years ago, last Friday. Mm. So they make this coming Thursday a commemoration for the six million victims. You are mainly from Europe, <laughs> born in Europe, or born already in the United States? Yes. This yes. congregation. I, I was born in, in you New York. Born. My brother, my older brother was born in, in Frankfurt after Frankfurt. the war. After the war. After the war. Yeah. But they were refugees already. Well, my parents went back to Rapine. Yeah. They, went, they met each other. My parents met each other in Rapine. Yeah. And they couldn't <clears> stay. <throat> Obviously, nobody stayed in Rapine. So they went to uh, went to Germany. From Germany, they came to America. They had relatives there. Where in Germany? In America. In America, yeah, my sister. My sister. My father wanted to come to Eretz Yisrael. No, it was closed yet. There was one. In '48, it was closed. No, there was one sister who came to America in in or before the before the war, and uh, she wrote to my father that he must come to America. We're the only survivors. So my, so my father came to America. Father of Rabbi Becker was one of the leaders of the community in Poland, city called Ripin, and signed the rabbinic uh, authority of my father-in-law, <laughs> who was the chief rabbi of Tel Aviv 14 years. He lived in Tel Aviv 51 years. Mm. He came here in 1935, before the war. He understood that Poland is not a place for Jews to live anymore. He left, he was 21 years old. He left Poland with a child of a year and a baby of two weeks. Mm -hmm. My mother-in-law did the effort to follow him. They came to Tel Aviv with no position, no flat, no knowing Hebrew. Yiddish and a little bit Hebrew from the yeshiva. And uh, he started here as a teacher in Talmud Torah for children. He was already a rabbi in the Ripin, your city. Hmm. So we, our relationship started <laughs> eight years ago, <laughs> 70 years ago. Hmm. When was it? In the early <coughs> 30s. Yes, eight years ago. Yeah. Eight years ago. <laughs> what was his first name? Mordechai. Mordechai Becker. Yeah. I, I went to, uh, I went to, when I was a Bach in Yeshiva, I visited. I went to meet you, my father. Yeah, yeah. He was already the chief rabbi here? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. What year was it? 
68. 68? No, 68, he was yet in the uh, southern part of Tel Aviv. Oh. Ah, so maybe, but that's what it was. 68. He was elected to be the chief rabbi of the city only on 73. No, so that was, so what's 68? 73, and he served 14 years in this position, mm. until he passed away. Was he mother and father? My parents also. Oh, your saw, parents also? My parents saw the... My parents, when they came to Eretz Israel, they visited. Your parents came here. They came to visit. When they came to visit, they went to see. They went to see the Lord. Yes. He was the rabbi. He was very young. At the age of twenty, he became the rabbi of the city. Mm -hmm. In Poland, that time there were three and a half million Jews, and many young people who were able to be rabbis of cities or communities. He was elected in spite of the fact that he was very young, 19 to 20 years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. That's like a big picture. Right. If you, if you, you, you see, look there.